Jez, Jez, where are you? I need help. Duncan, where are you? I need to catch bodies. What up? What up? What is going on, guys? It is your boy. Jerry's Flow 2 and I'm right back at it now. You click this video because you want to become a dominant slasher in my right. I'm going to help you as much as I can. I'm going to give you tips. I'm going to show you how to use these moves and also which moves to actually use. I'm going to hit you up with the controller settings, the dunks, all that. After this video, I'm going to make you a dominant slasher. And if you have any questions specifically, write it down below and I always respond to everybody. Also, at the end of this video, I got something very special for all my DBZ fans. I have a new outro from now on then so you guys definitely got to check that out but enough about that back to the slasher if you don't think i am a slasher god you think i'm lying check out all my other videos i'm a six seven pure slasher but no you do not have to be a pure slasher you can also be a dual slasher to do these type of moves to get these contact dunks you need an 82 contact dunk rating point guards and shooting guards pretty much just get three contact dunk slots small forwards power forwards and also centers get all of the dunks they get the big man contact dunks whether you can get your bats on bronze or silver or gold or even hall of fame as a slasher you need to get this badge it does not matter i do not care get your ass in there and grind now to get it on bronze is going to be 12 000. Silver is going to be 24,000. Gold is going to be 72,000. Hall of Fame is going to be 162,000. Don't use square to dunk the ball. You want to have full control of your play. It's pretty much like driving a car, whether you're in manual or you're in stick. It gives you more advantage of your play. If you pick square, it randomly picks a dunk for you. So let's say somebody's behind you. Let's say a lockdown. And you do a flashy dunk, and he has, you know what I'm saying, he has a, a badge that's capable of him blocking, you're going to get blocked, versus you using different types of dunks, knowing when he use it, you're going to get that dunk, no matter what. What I mean by this, if you use the button R2, turbo, if you're on Xbox, whatever the case is, hold the turbo button, and the last stick up, it's going to be a quick dunk, it's going to be a quick dunk. And it's not going to be nothing flash, it's going to be something basic, it's going to be something quick, but sometimes you really need that on fast break when you got somebody trailing right behind you. But if you want to get, yeah, you know I mean, you want to get saucy on somebody, you're going to hold the turbo button with the analyze stick going down, and you're going to do something crazy, you're going to get a contact down, he's going to fall, everybody's going to go crazy, you're going to be like, yo, Jerry, you the fucking best! Now, when you're driving on the left side or the right side, use the analyze stick to go that way so you can do that type of dunk. If you're on the left lane, you want to use the analyze stick so you can do a left dunk. I feel like we got new people watching and they just don't understand what I'm trying to say. I've been doing this for a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this whole background. I'm going to make myself small. And I'm going to be playing a background of the mixtape. But I know y'all digging this background. I mean, look at him. Look at him, wait, 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 wait. Look at him, I mean, Trunks, he's lit, he's lit. He is new to the squad, also that little Vegeta who is right, wow, right there. It's over 9,000, but without further ado, let me put some clips in the background while I talk to you guys, because I know you guys are just tired of looking. The lights probably, probably lights probably already got you confused as, as hell what's going on. So, without further ado, let me switch. You have to get the Gatorade for your player. If not, if it's not at 100%, you will notice whether you get it or you don't, your player will start to move sluggish. He'll start to slow down. He won't be as active. He won't be as 100%. He won't be slamming unless you get that Gatorade. So get on that treadmill and get up to the 100 and then you will see the difference. Do it by yourself. Do a little test. Play at 100 versus playing it at zero. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm just eating some Reese's, Reese's Puffs that I bought to get some VC, and the cold don't even work. It don't even work, 2K. It don't even work. To get pullback dunks, you want to hold R2, and then you want to press square. A good question everybody asks me, yo, what should I put the shoulder? You're going to max out the shoulders. You're going to max out the wingspan. You're going to max out everything, but the weight is going to be different depending on your dual. I am a pure slasher, so I didn't want to be too heavy, but I didn't want to be too light because I am 6'7", so I went with the 205 build. It just makes sense to max those out so you can play better defense. You can get to the rim a lot 
quicker and you can finish even better and you can grab rebounds. If you want to know how to get the slasher badges, make sure you guys check out my other videos. A way to get some nasty contact dunks is when somebody passes you the ball, do not dribble. Just hold the ball. Now you're gonna jab step. What do they fall for or not? You're gonna jab step, then you're gonna go to the opposite side while holding R2 and a lot stick down. It is a guaranteed contact dunk. And another tip, when you get the rebound, somebody gives you the ball, you can go to the top of the key on the left side or the right side. You're gonna run to the top, you're gonna spin, you're gonna grab the analog stick, turn it all the way around, then head back to the basket while you're holding R2 and elastic down. It is a guaranteed dunk. These are two things that I use all the time. And every time I do it, it is a guaranteed contact dunk. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's 2K or it's just the animations in the game, whether where the defender is standing. But for some reason, I catch a lot of contact dunks coming from the left or the right side. Of course, in the middle going straight up with them, I get contact dunks, but I feel like I get more and dominant ones when I'm coming on the left and right side. What is going on guys? So I'm gonna show you the control settings that I'm rocking. I'm gonna make this really quick, man. If you have any questions, write down below. I just got that new Call of Duty. So we're about to get this popping. I made this video, edited it all in one day. So we're gonna get it popping. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. For the pro stick, I rock on Absolute because it allows me to do certain moves, layups, dunks in different directions other than the camera. Then um, for the off wall, I leave it on camera relative. Uh, for the defense, I put it on Absolute so it can let me do any type of jumping animation, any block, any steal animation in any way of the camera. Um, after that, my defense, I put it on 10 because I noticed that if you put it all the way up to 100, you will definitely stick onto him, but if he does a quick move, you actually get stuck at that animation that he does. So I like to have it like freelance, so I put it on 10. Box out assist, I left it at 50 because if you leave it at 100, it will box out anybody. So let's say there's a center and there's a point guard. There's a little 6-2 um, little six two point guard. It will make you box him out rather than the center that you really wanted to. So I put it on 50. Um, the pass, I really don't mess with. That is all for the settings that I rock on the PS4. Now we're gonna get it straight into the moves. All right, now we're gonna come out to the shots. I'm a pure slasher, so I don't really rock with the shots. So I can't really help you if you have a shot curated slasher or sharpshooter, but um, these are the moves that I rock with. I hit this John Wall. If I'm wide open with my pure slasher, I'm gonna green it, believe it or not. I don't know if it's just 2K or it's the jumper. I don't know what it is. Um, I think my three point shot is like at a 62. I don't know, but I hit greens with this John Wall. Free throws are dead gross because I play a lot of pro-am. Um, these, I really don't really mess with them, but I just put them on there. Um, yeah, I really, I really don't rock with the uh, the jump shots. I mean, I always run with a smart team, so I'm never put in a position where I have to take a shot. But if I'm wide open and we're blowing them out, best believe I'm gonna take the shot. I mean, why not? These are the moves that I'm rocking with for the shots. Um, if I'm going too fast, just uh, rewind it back and just look at them. But like I said, I really can't help you much with the shots, but I can with the dribble moves. The dribble moves is where I finesse with a pure slash. They're like, yo, how is he doing these moves? Bro, moving across the rock with uh, normal one. You see that move right there? It is so quick when he cocks it back. It is so quick. Behind the back, I'm rocking with Pro 3. Um, I always change these moves, but these are the moves that I've been rocking with for probably about like a week so far. And I'm loving these moves so far. Moving spins, I'm rocking with uh, Pro 3. Moving hesitation, Pro 5. These moves are not to look fancy. These are quick moves. I'm a pure slasher, so I need moves that are gonna be able to give me a quick step ahead of my defender, and then I can just take off, and then I'm dunking on whoever's underneath the rim. R rhythm dribble, this is what I'm rocking with. It is pretty fast. It doesn't look that fast right now, but trust me, in the park is fast. Size up, I'm rocking with Pro 1. I just need something quick. We're rocking with the James Harden. I might actually change this. Um, I think before I had, yeah, I had the LeBron James. But um, for right now, I guess I've, I've just been rocking with the James Harden. Um, this size up is something new, and I'm liking this move a lot. I'm liking this move a lot. It is pretty quick in the park, I can't lie. Between the legs, I, um, I had to go with Iverson. Like I said, these moves are fast in the park. They don't look that fast right on the screen, but they're fast in the park. I had to go with AI, man. The AI moves are so lit. They're so lit. I had to go. Those are the dribble moves. If you have any questions, write down below. And I will try to help you. Now, for the dunks. Now, you guys are not going to believe these dunks. For park dunks, 
I don't have any park dunks. I don't like the flashiness. I'd rather have a contact dunk. Do something that other players can't do. Because I'm pretty sure like almost everybody can do these. Um, I mean, they're really nice though. I'm not going to lie. They are nice, but I'm good. I'd rather have contact dunks. Now, for the alleys, I got the park alley 2, which is OP. And I got the park alley 3. But I don't really walk with the, flash, uh, the flashiness. Now, I'm going to get to the sauce, man. Y'all not going to believe it. You're like, yo, what does Jerry's use, bro? It is so simple, bro. It is so simple. For the layups, I'm rocking with Circus right now. I'm testing it out. Um, it's pretty dope, man. Especially when you drive baseline and you get that that spin. It is it is really nice. Um, but I have Euro Specialist that I've been using. It's pretty good. But I like Circus because it's flashy. But if I know like we're about to play uh, like a serious game, I either will go with Explosive because with Acrobat and Resentless Finisher, it is OP. But I like Tank though, I like Tank. If you're gonna play a competitive game and you're gonna go to work, go with Tank. But if you're in the park just playing around, trying to have fun, rock with Circus, it is OP for the slasher. Now I only have one dunk under there, that's it. This is the only dunk that I have, just under there. And then baseline, I have reverse twos. Now if I add anything else, like I do have switcher rules because it is OP, it is fast and it does not get blocked. But other than that, if I have any other animations, like I bought a whole bunch. I got the Vince Carter. Vince Carter is my favorite dunk package though. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do put this on. I have Michael Jordan, I have LeBron, I put Russell Westbrook, I have all of those, but I don't wanna have too many animations because I have three contact dunks, right? And it's like, probably like 100 animations in one package. So that's like three contact dunk animations, like 300. So I don't want the game to pick another dunk like this Vince Carter dunk when I want a contact dunk so I try to limit it as possible so that's basically what I'm rocking with is three I got the under the basket catch the ball because I don't want to do a layup because the layups um I feel like they're not there just yet or maybe um I haven't mastered this yet but I don't know he grabs the ball and he does a layup that's not what I want so then I did my research you know I started testing out and I and I saw that if you have a under the basket, any of them, under the basket, basic, rim, um, any of those dunks, he's gonna grab the ball and he's gonna go right up with a dunk, which I like. I got the baseline, just in case I go baseline, switch your rules, is really fast. Then after that, here comes the sauce. Now for the alleys, um, I did have one, but I took it away because it's so basic. Like I said, this game is based off animations. I don't want this animation to happen if I want these animations to happen. You know what I'm saying? Then for the contact dunks, I got dunk, one, two, three, and I can't get four because I'm a shooting guard, but if you're a small four, power four, you'll be able to get all three. But low key, sometimes I take off contact dunk one and I let two and three rock because to me, three is the most disrespectful dunk you can have. Like the animations are so disrespectful. So it's up to you guys. But yeah, that's basically the sauce. I mean, yeah, that's it. That is the whole Jerry's package. You guys see the mixtape, you see the videos. Y'all see your boy get saucy. This is the magic. This is it. It is simple, it is nothing crazy. That's pretty much it guys, those are the moves. Now put these moves on, put the dribble moves on. Do me a favor, go try them out. Just try them out, it's not gonna hurt. Try them off for at least three games. And then pick the moves that you like. Switch the layups, switch the dunks, add some dunks if you like it. If you really like a dunk package, Put at least one. Put at least one. Don't put too many. But if you're a duel and you can't get contact dunks, that's a problem because then you have to put on these dunk packages because you can't get contact dunks. But if you are allowed to get contact dunk, my slashers, just pick one dunk that you really like and then the rest contact dunks. Try it out for three games and you guys will have fun. That's pretty much it for the moves. So guys, that's definitely gonna wrap it up. I showed you everything. I'm not holding anything from you guys, trust me. If there was something that to make you a lot better, I would tell you, because this is all this channel is about, as well as lit videos. If you want to see more of Jerry's, make sure you check out the vlog channel, which is right down below. You guys are also going to check out my new outro. I know you guys are really going to appreciate it. But if you're new, I just need you to do me a favor. After watching this lit video, right, I need you to smash that like button and bang that subscribe button like you got a booty call coming on the late.
Nice! So another thing is that I put out a tweet today and I definitely got good feedback. Y'all know this channel is basically based on NBA 2K18, but I want to bring more games into this channel. I don't want to be put into a box where that's all I'm doing because I was live streaming one day and somebody was talking to me saying that, you know what? They think I'm funny, <laughs> you know. They think your boy's funny, but they really don't play games, but they just watch me because my personality, they like the other videos. So, it's got me thinking, why not grab something, branch out, grab my camera, my edits, my creativity, and expand. So I'm definitely gonna start bringing new games to this channel, walkthroughs. I'm also gonna bring lit videos, sneaker videos. Um, we're also gonna start doing reactions. This is gonna be called Jers Reacts Just Saying. I don't know if I'll probably do it on Sundays. One day out of the week is gonna be a day where I'm just gonna upload reactions. I want this channel to blow up, not just 2K. I do not want to be put into a box. Oh, he is just a 2K player. No, I. I am a YouTuber, I am a person that loves to create live videos, also entertaining videos for you guys. I'm doing pranks on this channel, I'm doing reactions, we're doing music, we're doing sneakers, all types of games, any videos that I think are lit, it is just going to be a fun experience, I do not just want to be that guy just known as a 2K player, it is not for me, that was never my option, I was never, that, it was nothing a part of the plan when I created YouTube. I didn't decide to wake up, you know what, I'm just going to be this one YouTuber that does this one thing, no. No, we're going to play all different types of games, so I know I just ranted off, I just, I just started talking out of nowhere, but you guys get the point. We're gonna make this channel and we're gonna blow up and we're gonna have a lot of fun. But enjoy this outro, man. It is definitely lit. I took my time to edit this. I will catch you guys on the next video. Y'all already know it's church. Let's get it.